Hey everybody, this lesson is divide by one digit divisors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here's our common core strand and our question is how do we uh, solve and check a division problem? So we have a couple examples here. So Miguel collects stamps from around the world. So far he has 2,754 stamps. If he displays uh, these stamps on pages that hold nine stamps each, how many pages does he need? Okay, let's underline the sentence that tells us what we're trying to find and circle the numbers we're going to use. Okay, we're trying to find how many pages he needs, and we're going to use these two numbers, and we're going to divide these two numbers right here, okay? All right, so we're going to first estimate, you guys. This is a great learning tool right here is to estimate so we make sure we're getting a reasonable answer, okay? So 2,700 or 2,700. 9 goes into 27 three times, and we're going to add these two zeros, so it's 300. So our estimate is 300, okay? So the first digit in this quotient right here, and this quotient right there is in the hundreds place. That's a good piece of information to know, you guys, because so, our answer is going to be around 300, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Actually, it's going to be a little bit more because our, our number is a little bit more than uh, 2,700, okay? So our answer is going to be a little bit more than 300, okay? So here's here we go. We've got it set up. Here's the steps. We're going to divide the 100, then divide the 10s, then divide the 1s. Let's do one thing at a time right here, okay? Let's divide the 100s, okay? So 2,700. So 9 goes into 27 three times. Then we multiply 9 times 3 is 27. We subtract, okay, we get 0. We bring down uh, the next number, which is 5, okay. And then now we're going to divide the 10s, because this is in the 10 spot. All right, 9 goes into 5, it can't. So 5 10s can't be shared among the 9 groups. So since it can't, it goes in there 0 times. We need to place a 0 right there. Big mistake. Even my high school kids, they miss that 0 right there. All right, so there is a zero, it goes in there zero times, and then we multiply. Nine times zero is zero, so we carry that down, and now we subtract five minus zero. So that's the big, big step where kids miss is this zero part right here. Okay, so five minus zero is zero, and then we bring down the next number, that four. Okay, now we're going to divide the one. So nine goes into 54 six times, so nine times six is 54. So we get uh, zero when we subtract right there, all right? And since uh, this number up here, 306, was close to our estimate, our estimate was 300, the answer seems reasonable. So our answer, let's answer the, in the context of the problem here. So Miguel will put his stamps on how many pages? On 306 pages, okay. All right, I used to collect stamps a long time ago, uh, and marbles and all kinds of things. So. Uh, let's see. So math talk. So explain how we knew that the quotient is 306, not 36. Well, a lot of my students would uh, think it was 36 because they'd forget that zero. But remember in the beginning, you guys, our estimate told us that that first digit of the quotient, the quotient is the answer, the first digit of our answer was in the hundreds spot. So we knew it was going to be 300 something, not not uh, three tens and six ones. This is three hundreds and six ones right here. So we knew it was going to be close to 300. So we knew it was in the hundreds spot right there. Okay. All right. Recall that multiplication and division are inverse operations. That means that they are opposite operations and they can undo each other. So we can use multiplication to check our answers to a division problem. And if there's a remainder, then we just add that to the product. So uh, so the result should equal what, what our dividend was. So here's a uh, question that we did in the last example right here. So here's our work from a previous problem. We're going to use multiplication to check our work. So what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to we're going to multiply this quotient times this divisor right here. And whatever that is, we're going to uh, we're going to add the remainder, and it should give us this dividend right here. Okay. Uh, all right, so here, I just slid that up right there. Okay, so remember, this is the dividend right here. This is the quotient right here, and this is the divisor right here, and this is the remainder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply uh, 847 times 5, okay, and whatever that is right there, then we add the remainder, and whatever that is, it should give us our dividend, and that's how we can check our work right there. 
Okay, sometimes students think multiplication is easier than division, so you can check your work nicely here. So let's go ahead and go through. So 5 times 7 is 35, so I'll put the 5 here and carry the 3 right there, okay? And then we'll do 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and then we add this uh, regrouped 3 right here, so we get 23. So here's the 3, and then we carry the 2. And then we do 5 times 8, okay? 5 times 8 is 40, and then add that 2 on top is 42. So 4,235, then we're going to add this remainder, and we get 4,236, which is what our dividend was uh, right up there, 4,236. So since the result of our check is equal to the dividend, the, divide, the division problem is correct. So 4,236 divided by 5 gives us 847 with a remainder of 1. All right, let's try this. Find the unknown numbers by finding the values of n in the related equations. Okay, so we're going to do multiplication. We're going to undo each of these problems. So this one says uh, 7 goes into some number 63 times. So what we're going to do is find this number by multiplying uh, this quotient right here by this divisor right here, okay, and it's going to give us this divi uh, dividend, okay, and that's our unknown, that's our n, so this is our n right here, okay, so the n is what we're looking for is in this box, so we're looking for the remainder on n over here, so how we're going to do this one is we're going to multiply uh, this quotient times this divisor right here, okay, and then uh, whatever that is, we'll see how much more do we have to add to get to this dividend right here. Okay, let's do one at a time. Let's do this one right here. Okay, let's do uh, 7 times 63. Here we go. So we do uh, uh, 7 times 3 is 21. Carry that 2. And then 7 times 6 is 42. And then we add that carried over 2 is 44. So 441. So that's what N is. So this has to be 441. Okay, so there's N. All right, so there's A. All right, let's try it with this one here. Okay, on this one, we're going to multiply 6 times 125, and they kind of gave us a hint down here. It's going to be equal to 750, but I did it all right here. So 125 times 6, so 6 times 5 is 30. There's the 0 and carry the 3, and then 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So there's the 5, carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 750, well, that's the hard part right there. This 752, we just have to now add the remainder right here, because that's what the remainder is. So 752 is equal to 750 plus what number right there, okay? So it just equals 2 right there, and that's our answer. All right, okay, guys, if you can, uh, click like on the video and take care.